Shalom everyone, shalom people of God. I go by the name Ruben Mike, I'm also known as Ruby MC. If you haven't already, please go below this video and click on the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell to be the first to get notified whenever I post a new video. In this video, we are briefly going to be looking at the meaning of Halloween, the origin of Halloween, how it was Christianized, similarities between Halloween and other pagan feasts, the stingy Jack Folk tale behind Jack O' Lanterns, the bad effect of Halloween on the world, and what the Bible says concerning Halloween. The meaning of Halloween Halloween in Scottish means saint evening. Hallow means saint, while in means evening. The word was first mentioned by a Scottish poet named Robert Burns in a poem he titled Halloween in 1786. Halloween is a contraction of All Hallows Evening. It's also known as All Hallows Eve, All Halloween, or All Saints Eve. It is observed on the 31st of October during the Eve of All Hallows Day. It is said to be a day meant to remember the dead, including saints, Matthias, and all the departed. The Origin of Halloween Halloween has been in existence for more than a thousand years. It can be traced back to an old Celtic festival known as Samhain. That's pronounced Sowin, actually, and not Samhain. Sowin is a pagan religious feast held from the 31st of October to the 1st of November. During this festival, the Celts believed that the world of the dead and the world of the living was breachable. It was expected that ancestors and dead relatives might cross over during this time, and Celts dressed as animals and monsters so that fairies were not tempted to kidnap them. During this festival, people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. In the 8th century, Pope Gregory III designated November 1st as the time to honor all saints. Soon, All Saints Day incorporated some of the traditions of sowing. The evening before this was known as All Hallows Eve and later known as Halloween. Similarities between Halloween, Sowin, and Dia de Muertos. The bonfire, jack-o'-lanterns, candles. These three feasts all use fires to ward of ghosts, fairies, and evil spirits. Trick or treat. Children wear costumes and go knocking on people's door, saying trick or treat, threatening to play a trick on the house owners if they don't get a treat like food, candy, money, or gifts from them. Guising. The three feats are common for disguising in several costumes so as to deceive spirits who are coming to harm them from the other side. Belief in trapped human spirits wandering the earth. People who celebrate these feasts have a joint belief that there are souls wandering the earth who can neither go to heaven or to hell, which leads us to the story of Jack O' Lantern. The stingy Jack folk tale behind Jack O' Lanterns. There is an old folklore attached to Halloween that tells of a drunk and stingy man named Jack who tricked Satan into climbing an apple tree. Once Satan climbed, Jack placed crosses around the trunk and stopped Satan from getting down. Later, Jack let Satan go after he made Satan agree to never take his soul. Years later, Jack died and was not allowed into heaven due to his sinful past. Also barred from hell due to his deal with Satan, having nowhere else to go in a dark world, Jack asked how he would see where to go, and Satan tossed him a burning coal, and Jack used a tunip, which was his favorite food, to carve a lantern, and he put the burning coal inside it, and wandered the earth ever since looking for a resting place. From then on, he became known as Jack of the Lantern or Jack O' Lantern. Halloween's connection with the Mexican Dia de Muertos, Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead, or Dia de Muertos, is a holiday traditionally celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. In other locality, October 31st or November 6th is included. It is a festival widely observed in Mexico. During this festival, prayers and remembrance are offered for friends and family members who have died. Graves are visited, home altars, called offrenders are built with favorite food, beverages, and gift items are offered to the dead. This festival has a close relationship with All Saints Day, All Hallows Eve, and All Souls Day. Why is Halloween celebrated as a Christian holiday? In the 7th century CE, Pope Boniface I created All Saints Day, originally celebrated on May 13th. 
A century later, Pope Gregory III moved the holiday to November 1st as a Christian substitute for the pagan festival of Sowin. So Christians started celebrating Halloween because the Pope told them to and not because it is by Baker. By 1000 AD, All Souls Day on November 2 served as a time for the living to pray for souls of the dead. All Saints Day or All Hallows honored the saints on November 1st, which made October 31st All Hallows Eve, later known as Halloween. The bad effect of Halloween on the world Halloween has led to a lot of deaths all over the world, including the death of children who get harmed during trick or treats by strangers they don't know and poison through candy apples by their own parents. Children have been dressed as witches and all manner of sinister beings. People have gotten misled through fortune telling and divination. Women have been mismatched and people have gotten initiated into cults. The recent mass death in Seoul was on Halloween's Eve. Mass crimes have been committed at high rates during Halloween. Why a Christian should not celebrate Halloween? From all that has been said, it is crystal clear that Halloween and All Saints Day, All Souls Day are feasts coined from pagan feasts like Dia de Muertos and Sowin. And the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 9 to 14, that when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh the son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consorter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of this abomination, the Lord thy God doth, doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God, for this nation which thou shalt possess, hearkened unto observation of times, and unto diviners, but as for thee, the Lord thy God had not suffered thee so to do. We are the spiritual Israel, and just as Israel was called the choosing nation and peculiar people in Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 2, we are also called so in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. We do not believe in wandering human spirit or pagan feast because the Bible says there is no life after death. After death comes judgment. A true Christian would never celebrate or participate in Halloween because God gave Israel seven feasts which are still celebrated physically and spiritually by both Jews and Gentiles. Halloween is not one of them. So in conclusion, I do hope this video has both been a blessing and eye-opener to you. Please encourage me by liking this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video to other Christians who need to know these things. Till we meet again in another video, I remain Ruben Michael, also known as Ruby MC. God bless you.